Hello, fellow musicians. This is your favorite mouthpiece maker here, broadcasting from Paris to teach you the secrets behind musical instruments. I'm Max, aka Dr. Sax, PhD in acoustics and founder of Sios, Shape Your Own Sound. Today, I'm going to talk about the use of 3D printing in music instrument making and the pros and the cons of using this technology. When you ask people about 3D printing and why it is used, the first answer in their mind is often That is cool! Okay, they're right, it's super cool. But come on, we're scientists, we need a bit more than that. 3D printing, or additive manufacturing, is a method of building objects that relies on adding the material layer after layer. While the hype around 3D printing is quite recent, the technology itself has been invented in the late 80s. So what's the matter with this technology? We'll begin with reasons why you should not use 3D printing for a final product. First, it is super slow. Any industrial process needs to optimize the production speed to produce large quantities. Well, 3D printing is slow and it does not scale well. If you want a quality finish, one tenor mouthpiece takes 7 hours to build. Compare that with other methods. With injection molding, you make a mouthpiece every 2 minutes and with a good CNC machine, you make a mouthpiece every 20 minutes. To be able to produce a lot, you'll need an army of machines, and that army needs a lot of space and a lot of people to operate it and do the maintenance. So, why are we using a slow and expensive method? Reason 1. Prototyping. This is 99% of the professional use of 3D printing. When you need only one or a few samples to sketch a product to see how it looks in real life, 3D printing is the right method. Cost per piece can be high, but you're not doing thousands of them. And prototypes often don't need the high quality finish of a product yourself, so you can print them faster. Reason 2. Mass customization. Unlike faster production methods, 3D printing allows customization. Production time is slow, but you can make a different piece each time. If you manage to automate the CAD part of the process, you can customize objects on a large scale. That's what we do at Sires. We shape the geometry inside the mouthpiece to meet each musician's expectations, so on our 50 printers, we make 50 different pieces in each production session. We're also able to offer a catalog of standard products with a lot of colors and tip opening variants. Reason 3. Doing new stuff. Some shapes that are difficult to make with other technologies are very easy to 3D print. We can then design a whole new range of shapes in the mouthpiece chamber and baffle, and also explore new options like the ridges that we use as a power booster. If you have the one perfect mouthpiece that will please every sax player, then don't use 3D printing. Go find another production technique that lowers the costs while doing thousands of units. We at Sios believe that such a mouthpiece does not exist, but that there is a mouthpiece for each individual. That's why we are using 3D printing to offer a huge variety of shapes and also, yes, it's cool, we can engrave a shark on the side of your blue mouthpiece. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the new things about 3D printing technology. Let us know in the comments what you want to watch next on our channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And be sure to check our website with our new collection of mouthpieces, reeds and saxophone accessories. Your sound can only thank you for that.